Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Wake and Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm so excited because it's a you know brand new season, right? We are in season 33 now. And my good friend Marlena Johnson is back with us. And we are going to be talking about house cleansings and home protection shields, all that and so much more. We're going to talk about the need for doing regular house cleansing and self-purification, some of the signs that you have negative stagnant energy or entities and the reasons that it is drawn to your home space. We're going to talk about preparing for period nine, the shift in energy, the need to upgrade our homes, feng shui to align and harness the transformative energies of period nine to amplify business success, personal growth, health, well-being, and relationship harmony. We're going to talk about the new frequencies and energies hitting our homes and why you will need an updated home protection shield. Marlene will be working with her angel team doing a quick energy sweep of you and your home space today. All of that and more, I'm, you know, I'm, there's always more. Um, hold on, and for those of you who may not know Marlena, because uh, even though she's been with us many, many times, we love having her on the show. It's always a high vibe call. There are still some of you who may not know her. She is called Magical Marlena, your prosperity advisor. She's self-taught, internationally known, master manifester, abundant life coach, motivational speaker, a classical feng shui advisor, a light worker, an intuitive energy healer, and a clairvoyant angel channeler. She's been featured in the New York Times. She's been a guest speaker on the TV show, Jesus Loves You, where she shared her miraculous angelic experiences. And she is a keynote speaker advisor on Keen. So all of that and more, you can read more about her bio on the on her special offer page or on the schedule page, or if you're watching live on YouTube right now in the in the information description. <laughs> so if you are watching on YouTube live right now, please do subscribe and please do watch all of the previous shows as well, all the videos on demand, and stay tuned for all the live shows coming up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We would love to have you as part of our community so that we can continue to share these wonderful guest speakers who are sharing their wisdom, their teachings, their processes, their you know energies, et cetera, so that we can all thrive, so that we can all live in joy and really transform our lives and our consciousness for the better for ourselves, for the planet, for humanity. So let's get started today. <clears throat> Please join me in welcoming Marlena back to the show. Marlena, welcome. Oh, hi, Alara. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me back again. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I'm grateful to be here. And we were talking a little before the show about energy and how strong it's been. And to me, it's kind of trying to drain us, okay? So this is a good day to have this great call uh, where we're going to start um, you know, raising our vibration and getting back our physical energy, number one, because that drain, when you don't get sleep and when you're stressed, boy, it takes away your physical energy. And, you know, um, we need to upgrade, you know, our energy all the time, right? Constantly grounding and, you know, <laughs> getting all of our, you know, good um, nutrition, um, water, you know, lemon water is really great, okay? Um, you can just buy a bag of lemons and they're not only for our body, but also for our home, okay? And I'll share that a little later in the call, how lemons can actually be a great um, energy for your house. And um, today we wanna start out by talking about um, house cleansing, all right? And um, every one of us, on this call probably has done some kind of cleansing all right some people use sage and things like that to do their cleansing um but today we're going to start out with like every one of us has somewhere we live right somewhere we work um and we also have a vehicle right most of us drive a car that also holds energy all right your house holds energy and karma all right. Some homes have um, actually have uh, ancient curses on the land. All right. And I lived in one. And um, before I even stepped on the driveway, I said, I don't like this house. 
And this was before I knew anything about energy. I just was a feeler. So I could feel it. And um, my ex said, you know, you're crazy. I said, no, I'm not. And he made me move into it. And um, when we moved into it, I knew why I didn't like the house. <laughs> there was full of water problems. And, um, you know, as I uh, learned deeper, no matter what we did uh, to clear it, having people come in, uh, including, you know, priests come in, uh, all you would see is the things running and they'd go out in the backyard and then come back later. So <laughs> years later, I found um, some group of friends and they called me when I was cleaning the house and they said, uh, you got to come down here and meet this guy. And I went down and met him and he points at me and goes, we're going to your house. And I'm like, no, you're not. And he said, yes, we are. And he demanded. And I'm like, right. Well, he was from Africa and he was a guru. So when he came, he knew what he was doing. And I had been praying, please, you know, help me out in this house. So lo and behold, he came in and um, did a really strong house cleansing, got rid of those beings. And um, when my daughter came home from college, she said, wow, this house is so calm. I said, isn't it great? <laughs> so we never had a moment's peace in that home. And uh, I had no idea that house did not want anybody of the light in that house. It was chaotic. All right. Um, so I had to learn quick about energy, feng shui. I sat with that guy overnight and had him train me and teach me all the things that you know, he was able to share. And uh, we hung out for a couple months after that. So I learned a lot. And I added that to my life, you know, I'm like, this needs to be done. And um, people would call me, come over my house, and I go over and they'd be like, this room is all like condensed, can you make it bigger? And I'm like, yeah, move this and that. So I didn't know what I was doing. I was feng shui in their houses. Um, so I felt like this is my training. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, years ago, I started um, doing house cleansings. And now I know that we need to really um, do more of it. And um, that's why I said it's time to bring this forward, okay? So the thing that I was thinking of lately is when you buy a used car, they give you the car facts, right? When you rent an apartment or buy a home, all right? we need to get an energy fax on the house, all right? Or the apartment or the trailer, whatever you're you know, buying. And they don't give us that. So we walk into a new house, we're all happy. And we're bringing in our old energy into there and the energy that's already there. And it all goes in one big ball of energy. And so some people might feel it right away. Um, others, it takes time, all right? All of a sudden you start going, I never had this problem before. Why do I have it now? I had some clients lately that are like, I moved into a new apartment. It's beautiful and a great neighborhood. All of a sudden I got cravings for chocolate. I don't eat chocolate. What's going on? So they would get cravings. Um, some get alcohol cravings or things like that. They never had addictions. I'm like, yep, uh, some suddenly can't sleep. They're, they go through all these different things and I um, help them with that. I'm like, that's because the people that used to live there loved chocolate or they drank beer or they had fights all the time. So that energy is still there, right? So <laughs> I thought we need to really do this um, because a lot of people are moving right now, all right? And I know some people do use sage um, to do like their physical clean cleansing, um, but the first thing we need to do is clean the houses out, all right, um, physically, okay? So if you're, you've are you been in your home for a while, declutter it, all right? Um, that's the first thing, all right? Get rid of piles of boxes and bins and papers and things that are broken, cracked. All that's a negative energy, and you don't want it in your house. So that's the first thing. And then the um, physical cleansing. We have to do that and we have to do a spiritual cleansing, an energetic spiritual cleansing. Um, and that that takes a little um, more in-depth uh, work because 
Some people do the sage, uh, some use candles. There's another thing you can do if you can't um, deal with the sage, uh, burn some herbs on the stove and let that really be boiling and do that through your house, right? So you can burn sages and garlics and all those things that you want to um, cleanse your house with. All right, vanilla is great. Add some vanilla. Garlic is great if you have like um, energies that are negative and you know it. Um, every nurse in home and hospital should be doing that. Um, using garlic and sage going through it. That will work great. Um, so the second thing that we want to bring up is um, how do people know when they have like um, negative stagnant energy or entities in their space and why is it drawn there, okay? So what I've been finding is the negative energy, we made a big list of the um, things that can happen to people. One sign is um, very real right now is lack of physical energy, lack of motivation, all right? Insomnia, stress, trauma, um, fear. All of a sudden you got fear. You got pain in your body suddenly. Uh, you got sick suddenly. Um, you know, your money went down. Your business isn't going. Um, you start something and you don't finish it. Uh, you can't focus, all right? You're confused. Some of those things are happening in a house right now and people listening right now. Um, relationship, fighting, um, you know, people attacking you, um, you know, mental attacks, you know, uh, spiritual attacks happen in your sleep as well or while you're awake sometimes lately. A lot of that's going on. So some of those are the signs of it. What draws that? to your home why is it happening right sometimes it's a pattern sometimes you carried it with you sometimes when you move into a home all right the energy in that house was left over from the past occupants or the builders all right or the land um so we want to look at that uh why your house would be the magnet for these things suddenly or always it's always been like this or it suddenly started happening, all right? So looking at it uh, energetically, uh, there are a lot of things that could bring it to your home. Number one is you are uh, negative in your emotions and your thoughts. That'll bring it in. Uh, fighting, any trauma that happened, gets stuck in the house. Uh, negative conversations could happen. Uh, negative items in your home, uh, negative people coming to visit you, calling on the phone, any of that stuff um, could draw it to you. Also, your neighbors, collective energy, all right? They may be fighting next door. And, you know, all of a sudden that collective energy starts flowing through you. You're getting angry at what, right? <laughs> That's from that. I've had it many times coming here. I have a nursing home on my side here. And, uh, you know, a lot of activity right there. So I know what to do to curb it, but others don't. Um, so these are some of the things um, that people are dealing with right now. And uh, we are going to be shifting into period nine. I want to bring that up. We're in period eight right now, which is an earth energy. And as you know, it, even on uh, the commercials on TV, you would see a lot of earth things going on. We're cleaning up the oceans and, you know, we're trying to get rid of the plastics and all this stuff and, and grounding into the earth. And we're talking a lot about the earth and the planet. And now we're going to go into period nine. Um, and that is the fire element. So fire dragon, right? Think about fire. It's hot. It's steamy. <laughs> it's powerful. So we're going into a power cycle right now. And from what we've been experiencing, we've been seeing the shifting happening um, to AI, all right? A lot of technology, a lot of electronics coming out and what's happening to our home, what's happening to our body because of this, going into 5G, right? 
cell phone towers, all that energy is coming at us, draining us, draining our life force energy, uh, robbing us of our sleep because there's so much EMFs in the atmosphere and in our homes. And that's just another part of it. But what is the fire energy is in a feng shui perspective, it's in the south and the southeast, okay? So the fire energy will be in those areas in your home mostly. And um, if you are not, what do you want to call it? If you are not um, grounded and unplugged from the energy in those areas in your house, uh, you could get energy of problems in your eyes, problems in your uh, blood pressure, heart, because it's fire energy, it's power, it wants to go, it wants to move. It's like a child running through the house with all kinds of energy. That's what's going on. And period nine uh, looks good for women coming out to the scene. Um, so we need to have our energy, ladies. We need to have our homes balanced and in harmony. So how is your home right now? All right. Is it ready for period nine? Uh, is it cleansed on every level? That's what we want to look at today. We want to look at the energies. Um, period nine is going to be really good for people that are doing like what Alara is doing um, online, virtual meetings, uh, coaching, um, makeup, beauty. Um, things like this are going to be great jobs. So I just want to bring that out too. Uh, let people know if you're looking for some uh, new income, you know, start looking in those areas where you can really thrive in this uh, technology industry. Men, all right, start learning how to um, make batteries, <laughs> work on cars, you know, selling cars, going to be a big thing. Uh, movies and um, what's the other one? Like concerts, people are going to be using their eyes more. We're going to be looking at screens more, all right, things like that. So our eyes could get strained. That's why I mentioned eyes, your heart area, um, your, you could get anxiety if you don't know what to do. So I want to bring that forward today and look at why we need the upgraded um, and updated home protection shields is because um, the last one that I did was for this 20 years, okay? And we're going into the period nine, starting um, next year, 2024, until 2043. So for the next 20 years, we're going to be in that fire energy. And it's going to shift. So we need to get upgraded in our home um, atmosphere and in the protection shield, we definitely have to have a protection shield around us and our home spaces. And if you move, you can take it with you, which is great because that's the way it works here. And you'll also have those um, recordings as well and a physical item that you can take with you and hang in your new space, all right? What's good about this is you can take it to hotels, vacations. Um, if you go to your job, all right, you can take these with you and clear that energy out. Take it if you're moving, you know, play it anywhere, anytime, all right? I had a lady who was working in an office, which was dark, no windows. Um, she had said to me, um, she put the cleansing um, MP3 recording in her purse on low. Every day she'd play it on a loop all day long and the dead plants started to come alive and the coworkers were like, what are you doing ever since you came here? The place got like calmer. We all feel it. And there's dead plants that just came alive. Something she giggled at them, didn't answer them and messaged me and told me. And I thought, aha. Uh -huh. So yes, thank you. And I had a lady that um, was working in a nursing home and she sent me photos from her phone. It was kind of, it would have been scary to other people, but she would show me the spirits. Look at them. 
and all the patients are acting up all night. They should be sleeping. And they had their medication to go to sleep and they couldn't, they were yelling out help and all. And so she contacts me and we did the um, clearing and I gave her the right um, recordings and she took them to work and she put them in the hallway on her little iPad or whatever you had back then. And she let it play. And the guy, the orderly working with her said, keep it going. The people are going to sleep now because the energies were leaving the hallway that they had to work on. And so their hallway was the calmest one. And every one of the patients was doing better. So pain was leaving them. I'm like, see, this is what we do for our life. You know, we help other people support them. I had people get up um, who were uh, doctors, put them in chairs and said, you know, you can't walk anymore. You're in too much pain. And uh, I said to the lady who was taking care of them, I said, get a compass, go in this area of the house and see if there's a bunch of clutter and get back to me. She does. She said, yeah, bunch of clutter. I said, well, get it out of there, put it out in the garage, wait for the insurance people uh, to come and do whatever they need to do. So she does all that, gets back to me and says, you won't believe it. I said, yes, I will. What? She says, the lady just got out of her chair and walked across the room. I said, I thought so. Because the areas in our body also have to do with our home. How wild is that? I learned all this <laughs> from studying. I'm like, I need to learn this. Um, and I really been diving deeper into it. But I'm saying this is how crazy energy can be, right? You got a room where you store boxes in and something's bad in your life. And you're like looking at every other thing and it's these boxes in the room. And when you you figure it out, when you go into that room, you keep saying, I got to clean this room. And you open the door and you go, oh, your vibration goes down. So that whole end of the house is down. So your house is like out of balance saying, help me, help me. <laughs> and uh, years ago, I was showed a vision of thousands of houses. Um, Some were had chains around them. And I'm like, what is that? And it was like showing me um, houses that we're in a financial lock, debtor's prison. And then I saw houses with big, um, like caution tape all over them saying, stay out, keep away. Energies are here. Entities own this place. Nobody's going to prosper here. There was so, I'm like, oh my goodness. So that's where I started getting deeper. I'm like, something's got to be done here. How do I do this? So I took many courses and I'm like, we need to do this. We need to clear this. So when we go to change into um, even next month, okay, into October, it has a different energy than this month, okay, and then November different, December, so you'll notice, like, one month, you're, like, maybe you feel really drained, or you got pain that you had last month that you got rid of, and it comes back, so <laughs> having these remedies can solve that, which is awesome, and right now, like Alero was saying, you know, we got moon's going on we got planets going on mercury retrograde ends tomorrow thank you um it bringing up backward do it over again even though you did it you know you're tired it's draining you so right now we want to clear that energy that's been draining every one of us and support one another in whatever's going on in our lives okay so the first thing is physical cleansing energetic cleansing spiritual uh cleansing needs to be done and then we need to seal it okay and protect it so that's what i'm bringing forward today so how is that alara sounds good and are we going to be also be taking some live color questions yeah i am actually ready for that is that amazing or what <laughs> uh, if anyone has okay, any cool. so um yeah, so if anybody has any questions, you can raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat. So I know that Linda had uh, raised her hand about something. So Linda, you want to uh, ask me a question? You want to unmute? Yes. Hi, Marlena. Hello. Um, I have a question. I had a visitor uh, all last week that was an uninvited visitor. 
So how do we get rid of that energy of that uninvited, totally uninvited and not wanted visitor? <laughs> Number one, thank you. They're gone, right? <laughs> we yes, all have thank those. God she's gone, yes. Yes, we all have those. Um, now, the energy that they bring in, all right. That she brought in, yes. Right. Do you still feel it? Yes. Okay. Um, where do you feel it? In the living room and downstairs where she stayed. Mm. Okay. So let me see. Do you have like um, bells? Do I have what? Bells. B-E-L-L-S. Bells? No. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good. I have those clangy things, you know, what are they called? Where you clang them together. Okay. That are wind chimes, bells, a bell. Yeah. Tibetan yeah. bowls. Yeah, I got those Yeah, too. the bowls. You can use the bowls. Um, open the windows. I can't. Oh, There's you can't no open? window in there to open. Okay. Open them wherever you can. Okay. All right. And um, when you open the windows, right, go in those rooms, okay, where she slept. Yes. Go in the room where she slept and um, ring the bells in there, okay? Okay. And say out loud, say clear, whatever her name is, clear all her energy out of this room. Okay. And out of this house. Okay. And then go to the other areas and the front door. Okay. Okay. She didn't come in that door. She came in the side door, but okay. Yeah, well, that door. The okay. door she used. Get some salt, regular okay. salt, and it's in okay. your hand and sprinkle it across that doorway. Okay. All right, Linda? Yes. Thank you, Marlena. You're welcome. I'm going to turn up <sighs> my volume. I appreciate that very much. Thanks, Alara. Thank you, Linda. Let us know how that goes, okay? Awesome. Um, so there's a... <laughs> I will, honey. I promise. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, there's a question from Judy in the chat. She says, hi, Marlena. Can you check my house for any area or items to be cleared. I'm cleaning and removing items from my home. I'm not sure yeah, if you need so, anything more specific. No, we actually, it will be done in, um, does she need a B or C? She would do good with a C, um, package C. Um, right now, it's under her home. There's an energetic portal and it's, let me see, towards the left of the house as I'm at the front. It's towards the left of the house. Um, there's also an entity on the right roof, on the right side of the roof. And not to scare you, Judy, um, that's, what's, that's what's going on right now. So your house feels like uh, out of balance and probably got some, if you go to the right of your house at all, whatever's over there, um, you might feel like uh, heavy energy, stressed and fear. Does that resonate with you? She can type in or call in whatever, um, but that's what I'm feeling for her at this moment. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So, Judy, how does that resonate with you? Hey, what are you feeling in the house? What is your experience? Well, until she, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, we'll we'll talk a little. Um, types back in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can't have silence. Right. We'll never <laughs> have silence. Alara and I will never have silence. Um, we probably chatter away in our sleep. Um, let me see. Now oh, so there's a 
hold on. There's a question from Rose in the chat. Um, and she says, I'm cleaning my paperwork. There's so much to go through. It seems forever and lots of boxes of supplements that I need to clear. Okay. So, so these are not when, questions. These are just statements. I don't know what the question is. is, is, is right. What is the question here? I get it. Um, but like I was just saying, when you get to that area, you know, you hear the word a lot. It's a lot. Your energy knows it's a lot of oh. clutter, a lot. She's it frustrated. You, she's frustrated. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It drags you yeah, down. Yeah, she's frustrated. Yeah. So what I what I suggest, and this is funny, um, go to YouTube, turn on your dance music, okay, and go to town in that spot. Take everything out of that area. Pull it right out of the room, boxes of whatever they are. Bring them right outside in your backyard. Okay, and then go in that room and clean it. Don't bring that stuff back in. All right, if it's raining, don't do it then. But on the next sunny day, that's one thing you can do right away. All right, um, and what it does to you, you open that door, or that drawer, or whatever it is, that room, the car trunk, you go, ugh your energy goes down and your mind is going, we got to clean it. We got to get rid of this. And you want to do it, but you can't because of the energy that's there. And guess what, people? This will scare you to clean. Where do entities hide? In the darkness, in the clutter. Mm. That's why you can't clean it because they're like, don't clean it. We will have nowhere to live. We like it right here. We want to draw this energy over here. We want to bring this energy down in your house. So that'll make you clean. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it makes me clean every time I think about it. I just cleaned the um, kitchen big time. Uh, that was one of my talks I had recently. Let's clean our kitchen. All right. It is our health center in our home. All right. We eat things there. We cook things there. If there's anything in your kitchen that you can't eat, all right. And you can't cook and you can't cook with it. It don't belong in the kitchen. All right. So no shoes. All right. <laughs> Laundry piles. We can't eat them. All right. So it's bringing like that negative confusion energy in the house. There's a lot going on. And so we need to realize that what kind of energy are we allowing in our home? Right. Like Linda just said, unwanted guests showed up. There's a lot of unwanted guests you can't see right now. <laughs> so they float around the neighborhood. Um, and so we want to keep our home clean. What I have done, and I suggested to anybody, uh, get yourself a big bucket uh, with the handle, fill it with water and salt, um, any herbs that you want, and stir your hand in it do a little um, prayer over it and go out around your house and pour it around your house. All right. Uh, if you do like me, I walk my streets while they're all asleep by now and I cleanse the street. All right. So all these things can be done and they work. So uh, Judy wrote back in the chat. She says, makes sense with the energy under my house. The fear is gone. My husband transitioned over a year ago. I'm so sorry, Judy. Um, stuff leaving. And then she said, where's the link for the offers? I put the link in the chat for everyone. So it's awakenedhappinessnow.com forward slash S33 Marlena, but just click on the link. Okay. And Bob has a question. Bob, you want to unmute yourself? Yes. Um can you uh, comment on like if you're an empath lots of times we pick up disturbing effects of others so what I do every night before I go to bed is you know I brush my teeth wash my face I put a bowl of salt water under the bed and if I feel okay I'll do palo Santo. if not I'll do sage just as kind of a daily routine to, to kind of clear the space well, the, the a couple of days ago, I had surgery. So when I came back in, you know, you're kind of whacked out. And mm. I didn't have a chance to do that. But the chatter in my head went on for hours. So could you comment on that as a daily ritual in terms of 
I do it as a practice because I don't know what I picked up in the course of the day. Right, none of us do. And I am highly empathic, okay? Um, and what happens is what I call congestion, energy congestion um, when you're empathic. So a practice that I have when you can do it, if you're going to store, like Walmart, right? It's full of energy of all kinds, okay? Um, you can take your uh, thumb and your index finger, Bob, and start from your um, front of your body, okay, where the root chakra is, and zip up over your head, <laughs> right? I'm zipping up. I'm I'm zipping up my energy field, okay. Beside grounding before you go in there, okay. But zip up your energy field. I'm doing it right now. You can do it with me, Bob. Um, I I and say it out loud. I'm zipping up my energy field. Zipping up my energy field. Okay. Now take your hand as if we were opening up a door, a doorknob, and right in front of your stomach, your belly button, my joy button, okay, um, and turn it, right? I'm turning off my empathic. Hmm. Simple, right? I zip in my energy field up and I'm turning off my empathic, all right? So I got to go meet Joe Smo over here and... We're going in a restaurant, say. And you're like, okay, now I'm going to wait till tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, before I get out of my car, right? I'm zipping up my energy field, turning off my empathic. They keep their energy. I keep mine. Now I can go meet with so-and-so, you know? I also carry bells with me. So when I'm leaving, like, say, Walmart, I ring the bells. I'm clearing my energy, right? So there's a lot of little things you can do that are quick, right? In case you couldn't do it, like you couldn't do that because of surgery. Now, how are you feeling physically? Uh, I'm, I'm actually doing quite, quite well. Okay. And has the mind chatter left you? Yeah, it was that, that first night because, you know, you're all whacked out on narcotics and, you know, right. I, couldn't, I couldn't clear the room. I just about got, was able, uh, I had ankle surgery. So I, I made it to bed successfully and that was an achievement. You know, oh, so, good. but, but I couldn't clear it, but it's like, um, you know, I kept saying, no one can hear me, no one can see me, no one can find me, you know, and eventually it went away, but there was just a lot of noise. Okay. So if you can um, grab package B today, all right, do what you can. Um, because that will clear your whole house out. And the part of your body, the ankle, is related to the um, east. Okay. So where did the <laughs> problem come, right? From the east, right? That we all experienced recently. Um, and that that energy is also emotional, right? Something happened to your ankle. Um, and ankles related basically to, um, I'm afraid to go forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. In some area in your life. Um, and that, see how much energy there is. It's, it's emotional, it's physical, it's spiritual. Um, but right now for an easy practice for you, what I can do is what we just did and everybody else. It's great for all of us to do that. Okay. Um, and I don't know. If you have like, um, you use salt, which is great. Um, another thing you can do is clap, right? Clap in your house with your hands, all right? Um, you might run out of salt one night and you'll be like, what am I going to do? Because um, you're so used to that, right? I can't get out to the store. I thought I had salt. You can clap, okay? Clap that energy um, in that space where you're going to sleep. Uh, what I also did with people, I said, take your mattress and um, put salt on it, all right? And then let it sit there all day and then vacuum it off because we are laying on our bed and we're thinking negative thoughts a lot or we have a nightmare, all right? So that gets stuck in the mattress or in the energy. So we're clearing a lot of different energy, Bob, with you. <laughs> so, Can I yeah. just add something? I just want to mm -hmm. say, as a, I think, Bob, you're doing a great job with the practices that you are 
doing already for this for the space right but um the palo santo if you could do it around your physical body and your energy field mm. that would be that would be good too so for the space is great but also your own energy field would be great okay that that will be helpful um and like for the clapping it can just do it in around your body that's going to help to shift and move the energies that you know might are closer to your body than just in the space and that's for everybody but uh but it, it's, yeah. it's it's good that you're already doing the palo santo and and the salt water um putting them un, under your bed and mirrors are portals <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> talk about mirrors uh -huh. in a second. But, but yeah so that should that should help you too and i think that's great that you're doing that on a daily basis because if you are empathic or if you're doing like if you're on all these types of calls you know all the time then you're also picking up stuff right so yeah. um you could pick up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so mm. it's a, it's a great it's a great practice for yourself for it's just cleaning and clearing up your own personal energy space and then of course your room and your house etc well, I have tourmaline in all four corners of the room, the bedroom. And sometimes if it feels funky, I'll come in and I'll spray ammonia and I'll say, I only claim here the light. And I'll do that in all mm. four corners of the room. So you you might want to also add with the tourmaline, um, I, I used to add um, selenite as well. Mm -hmm. So I have tel uh, tourmaline and I have selenite. So the, the selenite is going to bring in that white light. Oh, cool. Okay. And, and all, all four corners, yeah, for sure. Of the room or of the space, the whole house, whatever works for you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. I have actually sitting here with a um, a wand of uh, selenite. Mm -hmm. And I, I use it around my body as well. You know, and under my feet, we forget under your feet, <laughs> yeah. you know? Mm. yeah but yeah Absolutely. so he's he's awesome he's doing his part but i'm saying you know there could be that night when you're like i ran out of salt <laughs> what can i do right and a yeah, minute bells clapping you know anything or even toning your own voice is going to help to clear that out or listening to like you know i would listen to devotional music hindi music bhajans kind of thing but whatever high vibration frequency music you can listen to that will that will also help and work right yeah, so definitely. a lot of things for sure yeah mm -hmm. awesome good thank you bob thank you um there's so there's there's some wonderful comments in the chat uh, i think there was a question but i'm not sure anymore where that question <laughs> is i'm trying to see if i can find it so we talked about rose and yes she was frustrated we just talked about that Lori. uh Lori says what can I do to clear my house of any energy left behind from a so-called friend I had to throw out of my home for being a leech? Oh, not nice. I tried to help her, but she took she just took advantage. I saved the entire house and said a clearing saved or maybe saged <laughs> the entire house and said a clearing prayer, blasted music and danced around the house also to clear. She left belongings behind that are in my garage. Any other recommendations? Anger is everywhere. Oh, of course it is. All right. So number one all right um i don't know how you're gonna do it but the first thing i would do is open the garage door all right i don't care if you gotta burn it throw it away get rid of her stuff get rid of the other person's stuff because you are allowing that energy to stay in your house so where is it it's in the garage all right what should be in the garage your vehicle your stuff your joy your peace your energy all right not someone else's okay especially a negative ending right yeah <laughs> so that would be my thing get rid of it i don't care how it goes um yeah. but it would be gone all right as they are gone it's gone all right <laughs> that's yeah. the first step and then you'll see um you know more space in your garage an openness an air would happen within two days and something good would happen for you in your life so i would like to see that happen for you and then using uh package b for you and there actually is 
um, tracks in there for each room in the home. Okay, so I wanted to bring that up, but the garage is for our car, right? <laughs> Where we're going forward. You don't want to bring that forward with you. Okay. <laughs> so Manisha has her hand raised. Manisha, you want to unmute? Yes. Awesome. Just put my camera on. Hello, Alara. Hello, Marlena. Hi. Um, hi. I would love to check with you. I've moved a few months ago into a complex with many flats, so they're probably a couple of hundred. And then mm. also more growing up. I mean, I am doing saging. I am. Uh, I have devotional music as well, etc. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you can see in my field um, that I can do, perhaps, to ensure that. I, and I put salt as well. I try and uh, have a shower with salt as well because we always pick up energy, you know, when you go out or from neighbors or wherever. How can I make my 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 property, you know, sort of stay clean and, and have less energy of other people, please? Thank you. Yeah. So the first thing that I could see is underneath you, all right, the energy coming from below you is coming up, all right? And if there's anybody above you, it's getting them as well. All right. And to your left, when you walk into your door, to your left. What is to your left when you come in? So when I come in into my, the left is like, it's um, a big cupboard, but it's got fire sort of, you know, um, if there's a fire, then maybe the sprinklers come out something like that so there's a unit there definitely uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah there's something, right yeah so all right so we'll say it's a um sprinkler system absolutely that's it okay so that energy right there mm -hmm. is uh <clears throat> let me just look at it all right <clears throat> the left here what's going on with that no, fear. Okay, so there's an energy of fear around that. So let me bring some harmony energy around that system there for you. All right. And it goes through all the floors of every space there. That fear energy. And it's a what if question somebody left a what if right in in mm -hmm. your space so are you like finding yourself questioning a lot in there yeah because lara will vouch for me uh i've been here seven months and every time i've said there's a lot of fear in my heart my heart feels really mm -hmm. heavy in this reality okay um, yeah definitely so that that's what I picked up. See, um, I can read the energy in there. I've not been there. Um, mm. I don't I don't know your story, but um, let me see. Underneath your floor, mm -hmm. right, where you spend the most time, whatever yes. chair, whatever chair you're sitting in. All right? Yes, mm -hmm. that's that's where I would put a um, copper rod. Okay. All right. If you can get a um, rug, color would be like in the blue and white tones. Okay. A round rug. Okay. And put it under your chair. So okay. That you, that you sit in the most, right? Mm. And if you have to move it, if you have to move it around, like say I'm going to eat dinner, I don't want to feel afraid. Bring the little mm -hmm. rug with you and put okay. it under your chair. All right. Um, but the chair that you sit in to go online or you know, just watch TV, whatever. Okay. Um, 
And I know about apartments, condos, um, things like that, because believe me, it comes through the wall, walls, the floors. Yours is coming from underneath you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's why I'm saying let's support you, all right, with a carpet, a round one, so the energy can move around and not stay where you're mm -hmm. at, all right? Mm -hmm. And our intention today is to ground your energy right now. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes. So let's ground your energy right now into mm -hmm. Mother Earth. All right, even where you are, zip up your energy field, mm -hmm. turn off, turn off the empathic energy, mm -hmm. clearing out the chaos energy that's there and mm -hmm. the fear. And mm -hmm. let's see. Okay, I want, I'm going to call Archangel Michael in right now. Mother Mary wants to come in and take that energetic net and just sweep that entity out right now bring it to where it needs to go bring in the light a ray of harmony and light come upon her now clearing her throat chakra ability to speak speak openly now and clear the crown chakra crown chakra come back to your glory crown they were trying to take your glory crown off of you. Do you know that? No. And you need to smile. Mm -hmm. And they were taking your they were taking your happiness. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So that's what we're bringing back to you today. Laughter, you. laughter is medicine for you. Mm -hmm. So. Let's bring funny thoughts and ideas into your into your mind and your heart. Mm -hmm. And happy music, happy friends, happy experiences. Would you like that now? Yes, please. Thank you. You are receiving that now. And a nice, nice, nice glowing light around your entire auric field right now. Are you afraid anymore? No, I'm feeling it's it's very strange. The weight from my heart has been lifted. Great. Thank you so much. You are I, so I just, welcome. Go so, ahead. Sorry, a couple of things. So I sit on a L-shaped leather sofa most of the day. So I'll get a rug and try and put a round one. Does it matter whether it's dark blue or light blue? I say more towards the light. Okay. Like a sky. That's what I'm seeing. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. And Wonderful. if it has white, if it has white, it's mm -hmm. okay because that brings a metal energy, which is grounding yes. as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. These and are, the copper you know, rod. Copper rod. You copper mentioned. rod. Yes. The copper mm -hmm. rod um, is great for uh, solving some energy coming towards you. All right, it will stop it. Mm -hmm. So a good spot really that I'm thinking about it is right underneath that device on the floor. Yes. All right, if it can go against the wall, right there would be great. It would ground that energy. So it would be supported. Any any more details you can give me about the copper rod? I mean, um, is it a specific one? Can I get it from like a hardware shop? Yes. You can get it, it, yeah. Yeah, you can get it from Amazon. Amazon has okay. uh, copper rods. Yeah. It's very common. People use them all the time. Yeah. Okay. Either that or Home Depot. But or... yeah, hard, the hardware store will have them. It's just the yeah. regular and... copper rod. It doesn't okay. have to be thick. It's thin. It's fine. It doesn't, you know. Okay. Thank you for that, Alara. I'll get it from Amazon. Thank you, Marlena. Thank you, You're Alara. Welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Sweet you, Manisha. Lady. Thank you. Um, and I just want to say some of the information that Marlena shared with Manisha and some of the other um, guests, I guess you could say, um, <laughs> <laughs> is, is applicable to all of us, right? So please do pay attention to what, uh, what she's sharing. 
Um, so Melly has a question and she's saying, Marlene, can you see what is creating the horrific situation in my house? Even the trees are dying around the property. Uh, it feels like outside interference, but I just want truth so I can have my house back. Yeah, I get that one. Um, if this person can, um, that'd be awesome to do a, you know, one-on-one -on -one with them. Mm. Woo. Cause you know, dying plants and stuff is a big sign of, um, energetic issues. Like they're saying outside and under the ground. Oh, what's going on? Let's see. Um, and there's, uh, energy uh coming towards a house as well um so we want to remove dead energy right so if the trees are dying they're they're speaking loudly like there's not enough nutrients here right we're not getting our life force energy here that's what's happening to the house under the land, all right? So that would take a land clearing, all right? And some pruning as well for the vegetation, all right? So mm, let me see in the house, where's it coming from? Mm. The back of the house has a lot of negative energy. Yeah, it's like, wow, stagnancy. There's stagnant energy for that one. Uh, I can't say her name and I don't want to try. I might make it wrong. Um, but yeah, there's stagnant energy there. And uh, I don't know, but I would look on the ground as well. If you have sidewalks, look for cracks. Look for cracks. Because if there's cracks, that's showing signs of um, streams, like small stream running under the home, and don't sit even with that crack. Because then you'll feel that stagnant energy in your life. All right, and try and remedy those cracks if you have them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of a lot yeah there's a lot going on there and people are asking about if she's near a five five g tower or any tower mm -hmm. or smart, smart meters etc yeah. the thing is if she is what can she do about it because it's not like she's going to move right she's not going to pick up her house and move the house so what can she do if she is near any of those towers or if she has a smart meter i don't know where you live Melly, but um i think most people these days seem to have smart meters now right yeah, and we can cover the smart meter, but you can't get up there and, you know, cover the cell phone tower, of course, or 5G or neighbors or whatever. Um, yeah. yeah, but there's remedies that uh, can be done, right? And she'd have to work with me because it'd take a long while for us to go through yeah. that today. I already know. Um, but yeah, so that stagnant okay. energy has to go. So <laughs> So she said, oh, I felt that, yes. So I don't know what she felt exactly, but yes, cracked sidewalks. Also, I'm getting weaker myself every day. And yes, a tower is not far away. No smart meter. Okay, good. No smart meter, number one. Um, yeah. So like I said, locate the cracks. Uh, also look at your walls if they're cracking. All right, the corners, things like that. That's showing a sign. Okay, of negative energy. Usually you'll find them down by the bottom corners behind chairs and things hiding on you. Um, we don't usually look around our house like that, you know. Um, but you do notice it if you're moving into a space, you're like, oh, that's a big crack over there. You want to know why. <laughs> so we look inside and outside and under the ground and what's going on. All right. Um, and then we remedy it and it stops. All right. And I, years ago, didn't know anything about dousing, mm -hmm. but a dowser can come too, you know, and, and help you with that as well. They can douse the energy. All right. And, you know, it's funny. Well, it's not funny, but all these things that you're saying about like the, 
the house, the cracks in the wall or the cracks in the sidewalk or all the, all that stuff. Obviously, like in our house where we live, you know, my husband got sick right after we moved here. He was starting to get sick mm-hmm. before, but then when we moved here, he was, you know, that's when he had this, mm-hmm. you know, life and death experience. Um, but I'm like, <laughs> this house mm-hmm. is, I'm so glad we're leaving. It's like, I'm done with this house. It's just, just been horrific, you know? So we thought it was going to be a great place, but it turned out it uh, was not. Right. So sometimes if you can leave, like we are definitely leaving, but sometimes you can't. So you have to do, you know, different things to to remedy the, the space for sure. Right. Well, the one I'm living in has an, uh, a mother-in-law apartment attached mm-hmm. to my to my money corner. OK, so <laughs> let me tell you about it. And um, yeah, I when I came down here, I found there was the wrong tenant living there. They lied to me. I moved from a state, a different state, like you're going to, Alara, and um, I ended up getting rid of that one. And then three or four other ones were similar to that person. And they all wanted to fight with me. And I'm a nice person. I'm kind, I'm giving. And I'm like, what the heck? So I realized there's something going on in that space, right? So when I got them out, I repainted it, redid it. Um, had somebody go in and clear it. There was a portal in there. There was grief in there. There was drug addiction and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, you don't know what you're moving into. Mm -hmm. Who lived there before? Um, What the builder was thinking and doing. What if they were having a bad day and swearing at their workers, you know? So you come in and you're like, hey, this place is wonderful, you know, and you're bringing your old junk there and that old junk is there and you're like, I don't feel good. What's going on? I never felt like this, you know, and you'll notice too, this is funny, everybody, when you go into your house, I don't care if you've been living there for a while, or you're just moving in, your body is going to go to a certain room all the time. You spend all your time in that room. And I'm like, we have all these rooms and my body went right to that room in this house when I came here. And then I found out why that is my health corner for me. Right. So Mm -hmm. that's the thing. And I'm like, wow. And then I'm reading and it's going, this is where you need to eat. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I'm like, good. I'll, I'll just, you know, make it my den. And, but when I got here, all their furniture was still here. Right. All right. I pushed it all outside. I was strong. Then I pushed it all outside. And my neighbors thought, what's going on over there? Free stuff, come and get it. And they came and got it. People were glad to come and get it. There was like four of everything in here because they rented the space out to snowbirds. So they had four blenders, four microwaves, four, I mean, everything, silverware. You didn't need nothing when you got here. And I'm like, okay. But I left all my stuff where I used to live because of that energy. All right. I took my laptop, a couple of clothing items, a clock radio, and I'm good to go. I just want to ask something for Melly really quick. So Melly, is it's not the whole house, obviously. If it's it, maybe is it is it just one room? Because she says I won't go in anymore because it's dangerous now. So there's even a smell that's intoler- intolerable. So is it just one room that you won't go into that you're feeling all this from, or or is it the whole the whole house? I'm confused. Um, I just want to ask her that quickly and. Hmm. um some people have shared i i think it could no it's a whole house okay it could be mold yeah so there's a lot going on for her and so there's some wonderful information in the chat from i think and carolyn's been sharing some stuff linda's been sharing some stuff sarah's been sharing some stuff in the chat Right. So, um, about, you know, saging, obviously there's a, uh, burning sage, getting shungite to protect yourself and organite pyramids. I, yeah, I tried all that too myself and there are devices that block 5g energy. So there, you know, you can look for that, uh, mm-hmm. somewhere. So there's just, uh, and of course, you know, continuing to work on both yourself and the house and the space. Um, 
So I just want to take a moment, um, Marlena, and talk about the packages, right? So we've we've like touched on them a little bit, but not really. So I want to take a moment and talk about the packages. Is that okay? Yes. So I'm just going to share my screen. One second. And don't forget, we're still doing a, a process too, right? We're still doing yes, a process. Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay, one <laughs> second. Okay, just, I just like I just want to make sure I didn't forget. All right, so this is the. Um, so Marlena has three packages, A, B, and C. Uh, Marlena will go into them in detail, but uh, in package A, there's seven home protection shield recordings plus some bonuses. And package B includes everything in package A plus 12 angelic feng shui power recordings plus bonuses. And then package C is everything in package A and B plus a remote angelic house cleansing session. Um, so the and of course I'll just say it right now there are payment plans available and if you are an inner circle member please use your gift code as well. All right, so package A, go ahead, Marlena. Yeah. So let me get to that. <laughs> All right. right. So yeah. So um, for uh, everyone here, okay, if you're experiencing any of these in your house, stress, fear, anxiety, insomnia confusion, brain fog, sadness, grief, despair, restlessness, compulsion, addiction, lack of motivation, loss of romantic energy, feeling a heaviness, things breaking down, clutter, bugs, rodents, floods or leaks, okay, electric uh, issues, um, feel like giving up, fighting, arguing all the time, breakups, money loss, health issues, sudden physical pain, nightmares, anger, rage, sabotage, uh, trouble meditating or even praying, all right, noises, entities, ghosts, um, which really can wreak havoc on your home. Uh, that's a sure sign that something is off and needs to be remedied quickly, okay? So that's what we're working on today. And in package A, all right, I made sure that package A would be good for everyone, all right? Um, what the first thing is, is I am uh, bringing out the uh, Clearing Your Space mini series where I'm going to talk um, with uh, the people listening. And um, that thing there will help you to know what's going on and help you to detect where the negative energy is in your home and around your house. So that um, energy is very uh, important to help each and every one of us out. Uh, the second thing was to clear the room of negative energy. So there's a track that you can turn on, okay? And it can be played anywhere, okay? At work, on a vacation, at your family's house, um, in a new space, you know, in a garage, out in the yard, out in front of your house, in your car, it don't matter, okay? When you go shopping, if you're afraid of, um, you know, being an empathic, bring it with you and play it with you. All right. As you're going through that. All right. Then um, I put in uh, my mantra music to remove bad karma. Okay. Inherited karma as well. Your house has it. All right. Everybody's house has uh, energy in it, rather it be uh, negative or positive or both. All right. Cause we can have both in our space and that's confusion energy, right? We want to bring Balance and harmony, all right? Um, <clears throat> track number four, I love this track. Bringing our self back to me. So what I'm saying is I'm calling me back to me, being fully present in my body, all right? Being fully awake, alive, restored, renewed, and rejuvenating, all right? Energy, the angels are going to enter in here. and they are going to be uh, basically placing their hands right on your shoulders. And you can lay down and sleep with this track or just sit in a chair. It's really powerful. I played it a few times last week, needed to. All right. Then my mantra of awesomeness, um, play that. It's short. Um, you can play it on the loop. It lifts up your joy. And we all need joy, okay? Without joy, uh, we are attracting what we do not want. So we want our joy back and we're taking it back, okay? Um, track number six, um, we have an angelic healing process. Um, it's great to be relaxed and seated 
somewhere safe, okay? Not while you're driving, all right? Because we're going to open up your heart space to receive love now and peace, all right? Seven is a, a beautiful angelic process that we're going to go to go through together, okay? It's going to be healing your entire energy system, your chakras, your mind, your body, your spirit. Archangel Michael is going to come in and cut some cords, all right? going to remove uh, negative beliefs and feelings and emotions from your chakras and bringing you back to your wholeness. And if you do have any entities uh, attached to you, inside of you, or around you, that track will get rid of them, okay? So I made sure that I covered um, the people, all right, and their space at the same time for package A. So it's an awesome deal. Inside... I put in a bonus PDF where it will help you to declutter your home, okay? And um, it takes you a few minutes to read it. It's real quick, um, but it will guide you and uh, support you in that because we all need to declutter, all right? And then there's a video of the Bagua map where I explain it totally in detail for everyone. And I gave people a, a bonus to... Um, be able to uh, print out a Bagua map because once they understand the Bagua map video, they will now be able to lay that Bagua down and know where that area is in their home and what to do about it. So package A, there you go. It's awesome. Um, everybody can benefit from it, okay? We have testimonials. I said some to you um, already. Like uh, this person got multiple money miracles, all right? Plants came back to life. That would benefit the one lady right there about the trees and all. Um, a real estate agent whose husband left the house and said, I can't stay in here. I'm going to buy another house, bad energy for him. Uh, and she was selling real estate down here and seven years it was on the market. All her other stuff was selling, not her house. So she contacted me. And uh, we did a one-on-one um, -on -one with a video back and forth. And uh, in seven days, her house sold, okay? Because she took action. And um, she got back with her husband. So beautiful, two testimonials for that woman, right? But there's so many. Uh, the crippled lady, I told you about her. There's many more um, things that are going on, all right? Now, we want to go to package B where we wanna align you and your space with angelic feng shui power now. Uh, it's gonna come with everything in package A. You're gonna to wanna to keep the Bagua map um, and go through this package, okay? Because the first thing we're gonna do is clear the chi in your space, okay? <clears throat> Get rid of the negative energy from you and your home and your animals as well, because animals are marinating in all this energetic clutter, okay? And then we're gonna go into different sectors of your home. We're gonna clear out your wealth corner and we're gonna boost it up, okay? Which we all can use that, right? Um, then we're gonna go into our career uh, corners here and boost that up, okay? The next one, uh, track four, we're gonna go into our fame and fortune corner, which gives us recognition, okay? Um, that's how a lot of people got, uh, to stardom. Okay. You see them on TV, they're singers and all that. That's them. Okay. Oprah Winfrey, she uses feng shui as well. Believe it. Um, Nike uses it as well. Uh, Amazon probably uses it because you can tell their business is thriving. Okay. Um, then we want, um, <clears throat> healthy yin and yang, uh, booster where your house becomes balanced, okay? Uh, if you notice, like, you have lack of motivation or stagnation, lack of friends, lack of business, depression, you overspend, you hoard, you clutter, physical pain or uh, sickness, that means your energy in your home is out of balance. Something's off. So when we um, balance that energy of yin and yang, you start to see, hey, positive things are happening now, right? I'm starting to feel better, okay? <clears throat> then I threw these two in, especially because we are going into um, period nine. 
our healthy glow, all right, our face, right, our beauty, um, you know, handsomeness for men, whatever. But getting rid of that stress and transmuting it off of our faces and that heaviness we've been carrying, right? So that track will get rid of that and give us back our glow. The more we play it, the more we're going to glow, um, you know, like that heavenly glow that we came here with, right? Get it back. Um, this one for everyone. Um, this one's for your healthy eyesight booster. We're staring at screens so much, so it strains the eyes. That track, you want to play it um, anytime you get off of like even this call right here. All right, you watch too much TV. Play that track and close your eyes, right? And if your eyes are burning or something like that, you definitely could benefit from that track. Putting cold cloths on your eyes as well. Um, now, the next track is uh, the love and relationship booster in the house. Everybody needs that. It also will uh, benefit you for where you work, right? You want friends, relationships, right? Um, people like that uh, track a lot because they want to draw in their life partner, okay? So that boosts it up. Um, so then we go to the family and children area. We want to boost that energy up. So people that um, <clears throat> want to have a better, you know, family altogether. If you live in the house and you're in that house more often now, that track can be played a lot. Also, what about the people that want to start a family? That is where you want to go to that sector in the home. You want to know where it is and start, you know, boosting that energy up, right? And maybe if you can put a bedroom there, that'd be awesome, all right, for those people wanting to start a family, all right? And it'd be a good spot to put your children's bedroom, all right? So the next thing is wisdom, creativity booster. You want to play that track there. If you want some uh, clarity and your learning ability, right? Better brain function, all right? Use it for studying, taking exams, working on new projects, creative ideas, and implementing them, all right? You want to play that. Um, then these last two tracks right here on this thing, very powerful, um, number 11, okay? Um, it's going to clear out entities okay so if you have ghosts in your house you have spirits in your house they're gonna go all right you can play that all day and you can go out and do your work you don't need to stay in that house or wherever you you know are locating them that's the track um the lady was playing in the um nursing home and then everybody's favorite they kept telling me was the angel feather dusters because the angels are coming in and they're cleaning everything in the entire house okay so I play it um, on a loop sometimes as I sleep and I just let them go through the house and, you know, cleanse it. So that's there. And then here comes um, the bonuses. All right. I put these nine recordings in for everyone. OK, especially now that we're going to shift into, um, you know, period nine. All right. So releasing all the tension and neck pain. OK, spinal cord healing. Um, the cosmic blessings for your immune system, allergy healing, uh, perfect balance of the chakras, digestion and intestine healing, freedom from attachments and entities is there, balance for your hormones. All right. And this one is my free gift for those that are getting a uh, package B today. Um, divine money flow. All right. It is a track where I do clearing of your money okay and uh bring in a divine money flow for you now so i got a lot of testimonials there from when we work with that my money energy is always here uh flowing and manifesting for people so that's package b and then c will come with a and b but with c i'm going to be doing like what we want to call an email remote kind of session okay it's uh going to be done privately so you can share your testimonials um but i won't share your address or your name unless you want your name there your first name you can use your initials okay um what we're going to do is we're going to um go meet my angel team and i 
go through the entire uh, space inside and out above and beneath and around your property, okay? And we put up an uh, angelic uh, shield there, a protection shield and over your home, all right? And that's done remotely. Sometimes it takes a few days to complete for each property, depending on what is going on. Um, what I need from the people is their name, all the occupants and their pets, uh, the address of the property to be cleansed, um, any pictures of the exterior or the interior that they can provide, and please a correct email address to contact you at, because sometimes I need to go back and forth. And when it's finished, I'm going to send you an email and you're gonna have a printout of um, an angelic shield, all right? And you can frame it and put it next to your front door, okay? Where people come in and out. So your house is constantly shielded and protected. And if you move, you take that with you, okay? And you will have um, protection for your space, all right? Because that's where we're spending all our time, right? In our spaces. So we want to address that energy of period nine coming and upgrade, okay? See, there's one there with the nursing home, insomnia is gone, less stress. There's so many. I mean, a condo. That This poor guy called me at midnight. Um, and I um, was like, okay, I'm awake. So he said I saved his dog's life. All right. He lived in a condo. And he was, I think, um, the second uh, apartment or whatever in on an upper floor. And he said uh, he had a puppy and he had the, you know, older dog. And he said, I don't know what's going on here. He said, there's so much um, demonic energy, he called it. And he said um, his older dog got sick and died and they couldn't figure out anything wrong with the dog. And then he said his uh, baby dog, the puppy, started acting like the other one was. And he said he couldn't see that happen again. So I said, OK. So I went and um, worked with him. He did what I said that night. Um, started playing the tracks and everything. And the next day, his dog was back to him, himself. And one of the neighbors said, wow, did you feel the shift in this place? <laughs> so yeah, so some of this stuff is quick, okay? And other stuff might take a little longer, but it's well worth it, okay? To work on this stuff and get rid of it, right? So there's A, B, and C, all right? for everyone right now and who needs a home cleansing everyone that's the thing about this everyone needs it okay <laughs> awesome. thank you so much marlena so there's those three packages and payment plans are available for each one and of course if you're an inner circle member please don't forget to use your gift code um <clears throat> so that is the package powerful stuff there there's a lots there's lots of stuff going on in the chat but um we, yeah, let's, uh, I know we, we still want to do a process as well. So um, let's do that. And I'm gonna, I'll, we'll, we'll see if we can do some of these uh, things in the chat if we need to after, but let's, um, let's, yeah, do, let's the do that. Process. And, all right. So yeah. everybody um, listening right now, if you're driving, do this later, really. Okay, because you need to get home and uh, do it in your home space, of course. Um, but remember, your car is also part of your home that you sit in and go places in, right? Some people sleep in their car and eat lunch there, too. Um, so your car is part of this energy as well. So right now, uh, let's get everybody grounded into the energy right now. Ooh, grounded into 24 karat gold energy, grounding. And we're going to wash our feet off right now from all the places we've been, where we picked up all other people's energy. Let's clear that energy off of the bottom of our feet right now and open up the uh, 
foot chakras, okay? There's little doors at the bottom of your feet. Visualize them opening up right now, dropping down energetic cords deep into Mother Earth, going into the soil, down to the beautiful golden energy. It's like lava, 24 karat gold lava, and allowing the plugs to go down and plug in. We're going to plug into 24 karat gold energy of the earth. And we're going to look up above your head with your eyes closed. And source energy. Are you unplugged from source energy? Confusion. Let's clear that. And let's plug you back in to source light energy frequency now. Aligning everyone's chakras now. Opening up the chakras, the throat and the heart. Really need to be open on this show today. Speaking your truth, allowing yourself to shine, to sing, to speak, to do it. Let's do it. Open your hearts from all that trauma, grief and agony and scared. A lot of fear. Trauma from the past couple of years. Let's clear that trauma. Oh, yeah. Wow. Somebody's grieving their loss of their mom. Let's clear that. Mm -hmm. let's open up your heart chakra to allowing yourself to live your life to the fullest in joy right now mm. opening up that beautiful energy for you and now that we have your attention everyone i want you to with your mind right now scan your house i want you to scan your house And as you're scanning, where is the darkness? Where is there darkness, heaviness, dense energy? I'm going to ask right now that my angel team join us here. Hmm. Okay. More angel team. I need another round of angels here going into everyone else's home that's listening now. Angels surrounding each and every person that's in that space. I'm going to ask the angels to go through each and every room of that home and start doing an energy sweep right now, collecting all stagnant energy dark energies, entities, putting them in a net right now, grabbing entities out of the house, off of the people right now. Somebody has one to their hip, Michael, get it off. Somebody with hip pain here. Radiating down the left leg, clear that. Take that entity, thank you. Go to the light. Mm. Stomach, stomach issues, yes, big time. Okay, digestion. Run the energy of healing through their stomachs right now, whoever needs that, clearing it out. Wow, and clear out their sleeping quarters right now. The beds, energies in the beds, under the beds, around the beds. Back filled with love, joy, peace, harmony, good night, sleep. Peaceful minds rejuvenate the bodies when they lay down at night. Wow. Oh, angels are rolling out some energy there across the bed. So continue doing that, angel. Sweep through the house. Do an energy sweep off the people listening right now. Angelic rooms. Sweep people's energy off. From the crown, down the neck, down the throat, down the shoulders, down the arms, down the hands, under the arms, going down the sides of the body, going down the fronts, the backs, going down both legs, front, back, sides, insides, sweeping the feet, all the toes in between the toes. 
in between the fingers to sweep all that energy off of them into a big energetic pile of dust and vacuum it up and clear it now and continue working now and bringing in more divine love and more divine light, more divine joy right now, more joy, more joy is needed right now, more joy, more joy, more joy into the heart chakra, heart chakra with joy, heart chakra with joy, clearing fear, a lot of fear and worry about tomorrow, clear anxiety, yeah, wow, all right, Ooh, let's clear all this other energy, that needs to be cleared that I didn't mention out loud. Clear that now. Run the rings of harmony around us right now where we are. Wow. Yay. And allow it to continue running for the next 48 hours. Oh, boy. That's a lot of energy moving. Woo, feeling that right now. I'm coming back to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel that, Alara? Yes, I was just thinking to myself, oh my God, I'm like sweating because I had to get my fan out. I like that fan. I'm going to have to get me one. <laughs> yeah. Definitely feeling a lot of energy for sure. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you don't feel it. And then you take a sleep cycle and you wake up and you're like, wow, I got energy, you know, and that that's what we all need to do sometimes is take a, you know, sleep cycle. It could be a quick nap, you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, because yeah, <clears throat> okay, how's everybody else doing? What are you feeling? Uh yeah, like I said, I'm like sweating just from this from this <laughs> process. I'm like sweating so much heat, yawning for sure, but uh, sweating. A lot of angels around you. That's why they make awesome. me sweat. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone, just take a deep breath and just receive, and at the same time, you know, um, allow the angels and the energies to do their thing to clear your space to. Uh, up level your space right yeah i'm like sweating buckets i'm not kidding i hope that my back is like totally wet you know it's like <laughs> yeah because they are they're washing your energy off you know so much stress and you know other things that you spoke about yeah so that's gone which is awesome you know yeah you linda, might not feel it yet <laughs> linda says a swirling energy clearing me up all through my body nice linda thank you so, good 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 uh, oh, gosh awesome um so yeah that was powerful so we you want to do that again for yourself sandy says lots of yawning heat coughing good release let it go <laughs> good 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 and then see how you feel later today or tomorrow, you know, depending on um, <laughs> what time zone you're in. You might just want to go to sleep now for some of us here in Europe, right? <laughs> awesome. Uh, thank you, Marlene. Is there anything else you wanted to add today? Like I said, I'm like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> when you come on, get a bowl of water from now on. <laughs> yeah. Put a right? washcloth, right? Put it on your deck. Um, yeah. But when I work with... Um, you know, angels, I get hot and wow, they're always around me anyway, but when they come in closer like that, mm -hmm. it's like, woo, but I have a square box fan on me right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, right. what I learned to do to the back of that fan is put a filter like you would put in your AC unit. Mm -hmm. So I got, I got a box of those cheap ones the green ones, whatever. And I put them on the back of that fan. And I noticed that that filter keeps my fan clean, number one, but it takes a lot of the dander out of the air here because where I am, there's a lot of sand, pollen, um, you know, oak trees, things like that. Um, yeah, so I've been all plugged up when I go outside. 
and I have to take my hose and rinse off my doors, my house, the sidewalk I'm going to walk on because I'm bringing the pollen in and didn't realize it on my shoes. You know, I'm like, ugh. And then yeah. I'm all plugged up going, what is going on? <laughs> but yeah, so um, what we just did, we're marinating in a new energy than we brought to the call. So everybody should start feeling a lot lighter after the process gets kicked in. But the angels like to do more when we're at that we can't try and control what's going on state when we're sleeping. They come in and do the rest of the process, you know, and it's awesome. <laughs> but today, allow yourself to go outside, okay? Take a little walk because that will clear your um, auric field, all right? And well, I'm definitely going to go outside. I'm not going to go for a walk because it's 1030 and there's no lights here. Oh, but I'm yeah. Definitely gonna go, I'm definitely going to yeah. go outside to get the fresh air, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So here it is um, 89 degrees. Mm. Okay. And I'm talking about hot tropic 89 degrees. All right. Add angel energy onto that, Alara. <laughs> Yeah, without a yeah. fan on i'm like no oh. i mean i wake up in the morning and it's 80 degrees yeah outside that's hot right um i think so, sarah ooh. wanted to say something as well sarah you want to unmute yourself well um i just wanted to say thank you to you alara and you marlena and all the healers you've had on one of my doctors yesterday um, I came in without a cane, as many of you know, I had a very serious accident. And he told me, he when I, the first time I came in, he didn't think I was going to be able to walk after this accident, you know, maybe with pain, maybe with a walker, but to see me walking free. And somebody had said to me early on, you know, you just did this so that you could use all your energy healing and... Uh, get well really quick and you know be an example that people should do all this i feel deeply that it is the love and care of this community and other healers that i've worked with that um i'm walking pretty normally i still had some pain when marlena when you said somebody here has hip pain i said yes that would be me it, not only me i'm sure but um so Tomorrow is Rosh Hashanah. It's a time when we are renewed and when we um, uh, do all our work, like we've gotten off um, a big, sweaty, long hike and we go and take a long, hot shower. And when we rejoice and when we make amends and when we do all that. So I wanted to bless everyone for a wonderful renewal. Um, even if it's not your practice, may the call of the shofar uh, raise a vibration on the world that heals all of our hearts. And um, <clears throat> I also wanted to just say that it's wonderful that everybody here is doing all the work that we're doing. I sat in on a thing about aging the other day for a few minutes, and they were talking about um, making an ethical will. And, and it was mostly women, and they were saying, why would I want to do that? And why would I want to tell my stories to my young people? I've hid these things that happened in my life and will it dig up old wounds? And I came on and said, there's so much fear. Don't you want to remove things that may be obstacles to you and people you love because you've got stories you haven't told them or, you know, do your work and clear this stuff up. And it was just like, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and the other rabbi who, who was running the session when I stopped, I said, well, everybody's different. And I just wanted to tell everybody here, you know, you're all doing the work and we're all doing the work and we're coming through our stuff and arriving in a state of grace. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to thank you all for being travelers on the way and also for um, the healing work, contributing to the healing work that I've been doing. And I was just really surprised to hear him say, yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to walk. So that's wonderful, Sarah. I'm so happy thank, for you. I'm so glad. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So see, I was picking up the 
you know, pain in the body. So trauma from a trauma, right? So is her name Sarah or Sarah? Sarah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. The chauffeur, chauffeur, I can't even speak. Um, that is a beautiful sound, okay? I listened to it many times for hours, okay? YouTube has a beautiful guy that loves to play it. Um, I don't think I could blow on it for that long, but yeah. Um, the energy of trauma, right, is stuck in the hip, in the leg. So mm, let's um, mm, rejuvenate that hip joint, okay? Going into the lower back, into the root chakra and removing the trauma frequency, okay? Just engage trauma frequency from Sarah right now, dissolving all pain and pain points and reasons to have pain and trauma, delete, uncreate, dissolve now, dissolve the reference point as well. Wow. Bringing in the conclusion that this has been healed. And so it is. And let's hear how that goes after that kicks in. Okay. Woo. I and don't like leaving people in pain. I, yes. I don't like leaving people in pain. Okay. That's not a good thing. All right. It's mm. so much better than it might have been. <laughs> what pain? Awesome. What pain, exactly. right? <laughs> so I'll be yeah. happy to blow shofar for you anytime you want. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know if Zoom lets us do it, but yeah, that'd be great. Oh, <laughs> Zoom. I've blown shofar on Zoom. Oh, cool. All right. We'll have to do that sometime. I think it's awesome. Um, yeah. We'll all get together in a little Zoom um, room and do it. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, but um, keep up the, you know, beautiful healing energy, everyone. Exactly. Keep up the keeping the keeping the energy, keeping the space. Go back and watch and or listen to this show again so that you can receive even more of that healing energy. Plus, as well, there's so much wisdom. So go back and listen to that wisdom. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who shared in the in the chat and thank everybody for all the comments, the questions, the feedback that came through as well. And um, and just so just so you all know, tomorrow. The show is at 10 a.m. Eastern um, for 3 p.m. UK, 7.30 p.m. IST. So I hope you will join us I, you know, at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, I think Sarah is going to play something for us really quickly. Yeah. Awesome. I've got this enormous shofar that I got in Sfat uh -huh. in the mystical city in Israel. Let's see how it goes. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you that will definitely clear the space for everybody yeah well listening. i think that's great that's a great way to end this beautiful call that we just did so yay <laughs> thank you so much everyone until next time may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy peace love happiness prosperity and radiant health sending you all so much love and blessings bye for now bye thank you thank you bye everyone love you Love you too, Linda. Thank you.